Welcome back to another Fabric Tip Friday. Uh, today I'm gonna kinda hit the high spots on a subject that I get calls all the time on is the J3 interior. Um, you know, it's a situation we, at AirTech, we sell the process and if I do a video on every J3 interior, every Stearman turtle back, every, every, you know, every little part, them are all related to the individual planes. I'm gonna just lightly cover what I did on this interior um i'm going to get 50 calls of how i'm wrong or different ways you're right first off it's usually easiest to get an envelope that's pre-sewn you're going to have two areas one right here that basically they sew a flap onto that that can wrap around a bar because you're you're going on a negative or i call a, a backwards angle then it has to attach you can't take fabric and just glue it to a bar it has to have something done to it along with back here usually there's one sewn across so a lot of times that's out of 101 it could be out of 102 uh that is i believe that's perfectly fine well uh, i'd usually just call places like preferred but if you can call them and get them to sew yours up, they, they really try to do a good job, but I have a little pet peeve there with it that they try to sew you an envelope with all the little cutouts. And we know that about every J3 has been molested at some point with a wire, with a piece of coat hanger welded on or wrecked or whatever. If you can get them to make you one and tell them don't put any cutouts. Uh, I usually start back here and you're usually going to start with a known area like that vertical part. Uh, now this up here is not correct because normally you have fabric that goes over this. I'm doing a different type deal with the lid. But, but I usually start in an area and get you a lot of clamps and work all this area. Uh, I come all the way over into the window channel here. You take special uh, time in just you know getting everything really clean around things uh, like your all these little openings uh, put you if you're using the air tech process put plenty of, of glue you know to prime all this and let it be just over it and then later cut this out and work it around and take an iron and get everything in i like to go on this side of that pulley bracket uh, all of your interior goes down on the inside of the lingeron um, just work your way out and that way, you know, there's nothing worse than you've done spent three hours getting everything worked up. And then like your little throttle tunnel here that they have already cut that for you and it's an inch off. So, you know, you, you will, you know, your fabric, this is another little tricky area. There's a, there's a little tunnel here, little wire thing that your fabric needs to come up around that lets your throttle cable come out. Um, the areas like right here, you know, a lot of the, the fuel tanks here and you really don't see a lot of this, but I like to clean it up as best I can. Uh, like right up here, you know, I've got this kind of cut out, but the fuel tanks here and you can't even see into that. Now you will the bottom, but basically, and, and up here, uh, normally if I'm not, if I'm correct, they take this one all the way to the skylight. I like to either wrap this one around this bar and then overlap. Uh, if you're using air tech, you can prime that in and sand the line smooth. Uh, just little tricks. Um, these parts up here, uh, we usually just over at Central Arkansas air Aircraft Repair, we usually will go ahead and trim all this stuff out and maybe put aluminum right here that's gonna be bedded in. Your covers will be screwed to this, but that aluminum edge this piece of fabric can actually slide behind that and get glued in. And then this one can get glued in. And then there's a putty that you can get. Uh, Don Wade and them over at C&D showed me this little trick. There's a, uh, I'll put it uh, on a later website of which 3M product, but it's something that can be painted. And after you put your primer on, you can feel that and then, then paint it over. Uh, you know, I'm gonna, it's one of those deals that we're kind of throwing the professional under the bus when we all think that, well, I'm gonna watch a few videos and I'm gonna learn to do this. We've did a many of them and this is about 45 hours before you even paint. So, you know, anybody can do it, but it's really hard to explain on a video. 
So the best thing, if you have no clue, you've never covered plane before, try to find someone that has done a J3 interior and get them to help you out. Uh, it's not, like I've said, it's not rocket science, but this is a J3 interior is one of the tricky ones to, to make it look good. Uh, this one, I've already got it primed and painted out, uh, floorboards and stuff, for getting that stuff installed, getting ready to cover the rest of the fuselage. But, you know, it's, it, it would be a four hour video if I did every little nook and cranny. So it's just, you know, it's just a matter of using your techniques of covering and thinking everything out. And actually, if you can get the old one out and dissect it and see the way they covered things, you know, it really helps. You know, there's just tricky areas up here where you fold it over one way and the other. And, you know, it's, 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 it's 50 different things to say about it and 50 different ways to do it. So just wanting to cover that a little bit and, and basically just give the information. You actually need to get a hold of somebody that's actually either doing one or has done one to get with you and help. Thank you.